What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create these rendered 2D plans in Revit. So when I look uh, around the internet I, I found a lot of uh, these YouTube tutorials on Photoshop rendering floor plans. So basically what they do, they take a regular floor plan usually from AutoCAD and then in Photoshop they select surfaces and they change them to some material textures just to uh, have this appearance of a rendering. Now this looks uh, quite cool but uh, using Revit, this amazing new technology, we can make this look a lot cooler in, and uh, do it in a lot shorter time. The, the, the process is a lot more simple. And before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so this is the project that I'm going to be using, and if you look at this floor plan, this is a floor plan that I've shown in a tutorial how to jazz up floor plans and make them look colored and interesting, and if you want to check that tutorial out, the link to it is in the description of this video. So, let's get started. Let's, let's try to color this. So, the first and the easiest way to do it, and to make it look like one of those Photoshop rendered uh, floor plans, is to go here and change the visual styles to realistic. And you get something that looks like this. So, you still get your dimensions and everything, but uh, it, the floor plan will look like you will get all of the textures immediately inside. And if you don't know how to set these uh, to have different textures for the bathroom and here for the patio. Uh, if I just select this, you can see this is just a uh, just a floor, and then we have a different floor inside. And then if I select just this, you can see there is a different floor for the bathroom. So just by changing uh, just by changing floors, you can. Uh, created these textures and then have these realistic uh, renderings in your floor plans. So this is a simple way to do it and then maybe you can change the dimensions to something darker just to make it look better just for for this case. So let's go black over here, hit apply, OK and yeah this looks pretty nice right now. So we can just go here and check crop view and crop region visible so we get something that looks like this and then we can actually export this and if you don't like the the lightness of the material actually in this case I really like the the light of the material but you can change that by going over here to graphic display options to lighting and just play around with these uh, with these settings and you can make the sun brighter or darker in order to make the floor plan look the, the way you want it to look and you just export this as an as a, as a JPEG by going here to File, Export, uh, scroll down a bit, Images and Animations, Image, and uh, you set this up to something high. I usually use 1500 pixels, but that's the highest setting that I found uh, works. And let's just call this uh, 2D floor plan rendering in Revit and save it to our computer and hit OK. And you usually give it a second for, for it to export the image. Again, it's a lot faster than if you were creating a rendering. A rendering would take way longer. Okay, but let's say this isn't enough for you. It looks a bit realistic and if, if we minimize this and open this up as a JPEG. Uh, yeah, it looks realistic enough, but that's that's just not enough for you. You want to have that complete uh, like rendered look with all the reflections and shadows and everything. And to do that, it's uh, that's actually simple too. So what you need to do is, sorry, uh, you need to go over here into Revit and what you need to do is you uh, need to first uh, let's change the visual style to hidden line so get something that looks like this and then again again we can either leave dimensions as is or we can uh, bring them back to orange i really like that orange so i'm just going to bring that back hit apply okay okay so we've got everything back as it was now we need to create a rendered floor plan now this isn't as as difficult as you might think so you just need to go here to a 3D view and in this case uh, let's see what we have for this 3D view yeah I just used this for elevations but you use the same process for either elevations or floor plans so if I go over here and let me uncheck this section box for now 
and uh, let's uh, let's turn off plants just so we can orbit around easier or maybe we can go into hidden line yeah this will make it a lot easier easier so we have this floor plan and this is the default 3d view this isn't the, a perspective view this is a uh, just a basic just a basic view or orthographic view so now to create a floor plan what you need to do is you just need to check your top and you orient yourself on top of the building and uh, now of course you can see just the roof you can see the the, the whole flo floor plan and to create that floor plan you just scroll down and you find the section box so this is that section box and this is what you get so you just need to go to something like south elevation and let's see okay we can't see our section box in the south elevation maybe in a section okay so here is the the section box and let's bring it down to something like this so it's a little bit above the stair and once we have that go back into your 3d view and as you can see now this is cut all the way through and you get this floor plan and you can of course go here and turn on crop visibility and uh, just crop this to the dimensions of your floor plan kind of like this and now you can uh, add some settings for the lighting so you can go to sun settings and let's see if we go for a still uh, you can go with summer solstice let's see I usually like to choose the one with the least amount of shadow and in this case maybe the summer solstice would work best yeah, I really like this. It has just a bit of shadows to give it some depth, but not too much to kind of choke the, the whole rendering. And before I render, uh, if I go maybe to some other 3D view, uh, let's see what we have over here. Yeah, I'm just going to select this uh, grass material, and I don't want to have that green in the background of our building. So I'm just going to select the grass, scroll up a bit, and go here and change it from plant to something white. So I'm just going to type in white let's see yeah let's use a gypsum wallboard and now if we go into this 3d view it will actually render everything around this floor plan in white so that will help us out a bit so just hit double r for rendering let's go with medium and let's bring this down to maybe screen okay screen's too little or you can use screen and you can change the the scaling so you can change this to 1 to 50 scale and now this should let's see if we go again rendering yeah there should be more pixels or you can just go print maybe something like this okay this is some decent size maybe 75 yeah this is this is a decent size as far as pixels go and let's try rendering okay and this is what you get so this is a rendered floor plan I've upped the uh, the quality a bit just to make it seem a bit more crisp and now let's just adjust exposure to get some uh, to get it a bit darker I think this is a bit too much okay that's too little okay it's this is a tedious process but let's try to set it up at something that works okay let's try let's try 14 okay <laughs> again let's make it a bit darker Okay, this is always annoying to do. And anyway, I like to set the shadows to lightest and the highlights to darkest, just to just to get it a, a bit of a dollar uh, look. Okay, something like this, maybe brighter highlights. Let's see, and then make everything darker. Okay, okay, this this look looks cool right now. And then you can make it cooler or warmer. I usually like to go with a bit warmer just to make it seem like a home and uh, then you can use uh, gray and I usually like to add a bit more gray and then uh, add a bit more warmth I like that effect and then just hit OK and you're finished and now let's export this and let's just export it to desk desktop and let's leave it at um, I don't know let's just call it uh, 3d okay and ju just save this uh, rendered floor plan and then escape out of this go back into our regular floor plan and then we can export this as well so let's export this as a regular floor plan uh, same thing goes let's just call it 2d and go save okay and wait for a second for it to export
Okay, and let's now minimize Revit and let's go see this 3D and let's just open it in Photoshop. So I'm just going to go here, open with Adobe Photoshop and I'm using the CS6 version. So this is what we get. And again, we can do some more adjustments as far as brightness and cr contrast go. Maybe make it like this or not, whatever you <laughs> prefer. Yeah, I prefer it without anything. Okay, anyway, now let's uh, overlay this uh, this 2D, 2D view. So let's open it up, hit finish, wait for a second. Yeah, let's just turn it around like this, kind of overlay it. And now here for this uh, blending options or whatever you would call this, make sure you set it to multiply and then as you can see here, we've got all of the, uh, it's now transparent so now you can kind of place it so you can go control T and then you can uh, change the scale up a bit just to kind of make it fit I like this maybe bring it down a bit here yeah let's extend it a bit yeah, I really like this right now, so I'm just going to move it, and I'm holding the shift key so it moves horizontally. Okay, this looks quite cool. And let's wait for a second, yeah. And then uh, you can make some adjustments just to the to the 2D, uh, to the 2D uh, part or the, to the lines. You can go here to maybe brightness contrast, and then you just attach it to this layer over here, and then whatever you do, it only works for that layer so you can kind of play around and adjust these lines to make them look however you would like them to look and this is now in reverse the numbers are on the wrong side but anyway you can easily rotate the whole thing once you save the photo but anyway you get the point so this is how you get this uh, basic floor plan that's actually rendered in Revit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.